Hi, I'm Peter from Ranger Country. And I'm Mark Camosio. And we're here today to bring you honest reviews of air rifles and shooting equipment. Today we're taking a fresh look at the Air Arms S510. Here we have the S510 carbine sporting today the beautiful thumbhole walnut stock. Yeah, it is It is a cracking rifle. Um, this is the factory walnut thumbhole. And um, yeah, it's a design they've had for quite a while. And although it does lack that thumb up position that I've always been obsessed with, it's a great design and it just yeah, your hand just just um, fits it like a glove, doesn't it? It certainly does. And what a fabulous piece of walnut on this one too. It so. absolutely is, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah so this yeah. is a, this is an option. Um, but yeah, it's that's a, obviously made by Manelli in Italy, um, as you know, but they pretty well make all the their arm stocks now. But uh, to their specific design, but beautiful piece of yeah. um, piece of work. Now this, this air rifle was the winner of the Air Gun of the Year award, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah, that was at the I mean, I'm a big fan of the Great British Shooting Show and um yeah, I was there when they announced that and uh yeah, they got they got the um uh, Air Gun of the Year award for that at the 2020 show. But yeah, it's um I think they won various awards and there. Mm. I think we were there that year actually exhibiting in 2020. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Um, now th this this one is a uh, the S510. It's a pre-charged air rifle, and it's available in one seven seven and two two. Hmm. Um, I mean, the, the S510 was really the the um, first time that Air Arms fitted the side lever system to their guns, and the, the, um, as hopefully you've seen now video about about the, the S410, and that was the bolt action. Obviously, they still make those, but. The the, sli the slickness of the side lever system. Um, a lot of guns have gone over to it, but yeah, it transforms the loading, doesn't it? It's, oh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's for me, it's a game changer. Mm. Yeah, it's it's so much slicker, I think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So suitable for what, what, what usage would you put this down to? Hunting, um, shooting. I think primarily it's a hunting rifle, but um, as and obviously this comes five ten. The ten denotes the ten shot. Uh, magazine, so you've got their multi-shot system again. Um, but the, again, the quality is so good that, um, and the accuracy, is sort of inherent with most air arms is um, really that. Yeah, you could you could certainly use this in certainly HFT, uh, not so much field target that's got so, become so specialised now. But um, HFT, yeah. this would be a great uh, great gun to use. As well as this gorgeous walnut thumbhole stock that we uh, have this S510 fitted into today, they also supply the gun in with a beach stock, with a walnut, standard walnut, the walnut thumbhole, which is this one is, the walnut left hand, which is a dedicated left-handed walnut stock, and the super light, but traditional and hunter green stocks, which are both made of poplar wood. Mm. Yeah, and it's, it's a feature that... Um... Air arms are uh, there's not many manufacturers that 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 do offer sort of dedicated left hand models. They charge a little bit extra for that, but the fact that it exists is great, and it makes you know it's a added detail, and it can just you really enhance handling mm. from it. Yeah, for sure. So you've got the option there if you're yeah. if you're a lefty. Yeah, definitely. Now on this one, they ad air arms advertise this, or they, they they say they've got a balanced firing valve, which meters the power a lot better, giving more consistency. Whenever I've shot the 510, I've never had a complaint at all. I've always been very impressed with the uh, with the consistency and the accuracy. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's much the same um, sort of system as the as the 400, as such. As in, you still want to be careful. But if it's unregulated, you still want to. And it is a standard. Um, then you want to be careful with your charging, and then you can just really get that that um, nice run of consi incredible consistent shots. Um, but I think they do do regulated versions of these now, don't they? They do in the Ultimate Sporter. Yeah. yeah. But when you when you're talking of watching your uh, your, your 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 pressure in your cylinder, you're talking about your sweet spot, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. If, yeah, which um, is you know if you if you were totally new to PCPs, you'd think in theory if you the, the higher the pressure you fill the cylinder, the more power you're going to get, and the more you know um, you you would get more shots. But the power in it's got it's basically a knock open valve in in 
taken to the simple terms when it's unregulated. And of course, if you feel that pressure, the higher you feel that pressure, the harder that valve's got to work to open initially. And so you actually, um, you, you'll create a much bigger um, your trajectory curve if you've overcharged it. So it's important to get the, the fill pressure right. Absolutely. Yeah. Now on, a, on an air arms, I think the, the sweet spot traditionally, I'd say, 190 to 130 would you say uh yeah 180 I mean, to 130 what field pressure yeah yeah i mean it, it, i think they most of the time they've recommended 190 bar for their models but i mean i, I ended up with a 400 that um yeah i mean 160 170 bar you get an f incredibly flat trajectory so it does pay to um but if you it depends what you want to do with it but if you want to push everything to the nth degree play shoot play around with the chronograph and shoot the whole cycle over the chronograph, and you'll see the the pressure you need to um, to get it right. But yeah, straight out of the box, these are um, these do what they say, don't they? Yeah, I, I think I, I think what you need you need to learn your rifle, no matter what rifle it is. I think you need to learn your rifle, don't you, and mm. bond with it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm always looking at things ov overly complicating it from a competitive point of view. But yeah, this is built as a hunting gun. If you charge it to the pressure they say, you'll have a good old, um, good, good string of, uh, yeah. of shots. You Absolutely. Know, yeah. yeah. Now we mentioned the side lever before, didn't we? That's it. Um, just there. Just flick that side lever out. Mm. Um, now, Such a sweet design, isn't it? It's uh, very it, little effort. It certainly is. Yes. Yes, it, it definitely is. Um, I much prefer that to the bolt. Very, very positive action on that. Mm. Much prefer that to the bolt. Yeah, I mean, there's been a few manufacturers that have introduced sort of bolt versions, apparently because of um, customer demand. But in in functionality of it, I'd sooner a side lever every day. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just it's it's so you've, you've you basically got leverage, haven't you? An, an advantage, mechanical advantage with. The, um, the leverage with it and it's yeah. just so these are so refined absolutely yeah are. it's great yeah definitely so this this one takes a different moderator to the uh to the rest of the the like the the s400 and s410 range whereas yeah, this one is has a male thread on it hasn't it which yeah that, which, you've got to have the dedicated air arm size so haven't you which it's a little bit sneaky of them i think that um yeah so you'd have yeah. to buy the air arm science that, that would then thread into the front it's very quiet that. though the Q Tech. When you get the Q Tech on there, it's, oh, yeah. uh, it's yeah. whisp absolutely whisper quiet. That's all very neat, isn't it? It and is. Cap yeah. that off. Same fill system as most other air arms. Uh, the S four hundred, the four ten, the Ultimate Sporter. They they all take the same. I mean, yeah, I like the way they they put these sort of um, the swirls on the mm. uh, design on that. It's just quite. Uh, stylish but yeah the same t it's like the t-bar isn't it underneath it is. you've got a um is that a, what do they call that a micro micro something filter micro I've forgotten filter, yeah but yeah. It, it stops particles getting into the inlet valve yeah and um yeah that that t-bar means your airline locks onto it totally safe and uh, yeah. the probe systems work on a lot of guns but i always feel a little uneasy there's there's nothing to worry about with these yeah, yeah it's all very neat so this rifle here we've fitted with a Hawk Air Max touch scope, which means that the, the touch is basically a zero eye relief scope. So you've got to get your eye very close to it, hence it's set, set so far back. Now it's set on the nine to 11 mil dovetail rails. Um, and I, to be honest, I haven't used one before, got on really well with it today. Um, mm. Yeah, they're very similar to. I mean, the Hawk brought these out in in direct response to the um, Connect, wasn't it? MTC Connect. Oh yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. was their version, and yeah, it's it's been very well received. So the idea being, you minimise because you've minimised your eye relief, you're uh, minimising parallax error. So yeah, it's it's a, it's a neat design, nice and compact as well. It, it certainly is. Yeah, ideal ideal for a rifle like this. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Now we've got the same. Beautiful two-stage trigger on this rifle as we have on most of the other air arms, haven't we? Yeah, this is right. It's a, it's a, again genuine two-stage trigger. So it's the sears are actually moving um, as you pull the first stage, which a lot of to the, they have a dummy first stage, and it's um, so yeah. This is this is a, a properly thought out trigger. Not as to, not quite as sensitive as a full match unit, but um, yeah, it's it's a pretty pretty superb trigger in use. 
and again you can have them tuned and tweaked around with if you're going to compete with these rifles um, but as standard it's 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 very very good and yeah you can get some very light releases kind of precise now with these guns um, as I say it always worries me when the manufacturers put a gauge in the front of the cylinder because you're you, you can't help but almost be looking down the barrel which obviously is a massive no-no um, but th with these it's the gauge is um, positioned right underneath in the middle of the it's the perfect position really underneath the um, fore end and um, yeah it's 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 just exactly where you want it very clearly marked and so you've got a total um, you can keep a proper check on residual pressure of the main cylinder all the time which is, is vital really with a with a PCP. Mm, it's very neat in the bottom there isn't it? Yeah nicely done. Tucked away with a chrome bezel on there. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. good. And on these, obviously, that's got a brass trigger as well. Did you say you gold, think that's... Gold-plated trigger. Gold, sorry, gold-plated. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, and that is, do you think that's standard on? I can't remember now. I that's think that's because of the stock. Right. I should know. Yeah, I should know. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to pull our way through that one. I think that's because it's in the uh, thumbhole walnut stock. Mm. So, yeah. Now we said we said the 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 barrel's got a full shroud on it, hasn't it? Mm. Now it's a low. Th I I always mispronounce this. It's a Lothar Walther barrel, isn't it? That really mm. is a mouthful. Yeah. I wish they'd <laughs> simplify the name, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, so very high grade barrels, um, pretty well. I mean, industry standard with all the premium makes, and um, yeah, but it's it it makes a difference. You know that that's what separates a lot of guns. A lot of air guns, you know, they they may have all the features, but if um, if they've got an inferior barrel, it's mm. uh, this is what sets these apart a lot. Built of the time. to last. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Definitely. Build qualities, you know, and, and you know, engineering finesse is, yeah. is what these guns are about, isn't it? Now, interesting. Uh, uh, might might be helpful to viewers in the future. Um, with a fully shrouded barrel, I've noticed that you get a little puff of air out of these holes at the back of the shroud. Yeah, which is. Um, that's right. It's, it's diverted air, isn't it, from behind the pellet yeah. at the front there, and how it the shroud helps to to quieten the report. That's right. Down. Yeah, they actually port it at the back, and then that's is, um, yeah. that's so you're inside the barrel, the air is coming out sort of a few inches short of the of the muzzle, and then that air is then dissipated down the tube uh, down the shroud, and some of it comes out there, and some will come out um, via the muzzle. But yeah, it's a it's a clever system. And it all, is. That, that's all helping with sort of muzzle flip and obviously muzzle crack as well yeah, yeah. definitely helps to uh i mean know. i mean you mentioned putting a something I you could obviously you can put a secondary silencer on here but it would uh it would dramatically extend the the length of the gun wouldn't it, it does yeah um, as and it stands it's very yeah it's quite yeah quite compact with it is. now shot count in this now they, they they don't do different lengths it is just the s510 carbine uh, we're looking at 70 shots in 177, around about 90 shots in 22, in optimum conditions. Mm. Yeah, that's right. You normally get that little marge, extra uh, few shots with 22. It's just a more efficient, um, more efficient caliber, and um, it's easier for the manufacturers to get to get the uh, get the power there and get the number of shots as well. So yeah, but it's, yeah, the difference is so slight, isn't it? Really? It is, and that's something as we'd always say. Really, or well, I was going to say, if you're going to do competition, go for the one seven seven. But of course, if you do HFT, they've got the dedicated two two class as well. So um, yeah, it's really it's down to you, really. Mm. Now with this gun, obviously, as we said, it's got this rather tasteful uh, factory thumbhole stock. Um, the, the, apparently that's not much over six pounds in weight. There's about six point two pounds in weight. Um, if you went to the beach stock, um, which would be the cheapest of the lot, again to to um, save some money there, um, that then is seven pounds in weight. So that's a mm. yeah, a bit um, quite a bit more, a bit more weight as such. But yeah. um, still, seven pounds is still not much, is it? No, for, for the youngsters, things. that six six pounds is two two point eight kilos. And the seven pounds is around about three point two kilos. So we know as old folks, we like to work in pounds and ounces. And uh, 
And yeah, barrel-wise, um, it's specified as about 16 inches, so it means it's uh, yeah, a good few inches inside that is the shroud, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. It's, um, yeah. it's dealing with the, the muzzle crack, which it, it does quite well, actually. There's no harshness. Um, I remember sh I've shot a, a 400 in carbine version. Once you take the science off, it's quite a... Um, well, actually, I've got the classic one, and you take the silencer off, and there's a significant crack. There is, yeah. And this is yeah. killing all of that. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah. quite a... Um, so, again, it's perfect for hunting. Definitely, definitely. Now, the overall length of the rifle is around about 39 inches, 970 millimetres, just under a, just under a metre, right around about a, a yard. So, mm. yeah. Yeah, so it's a not quite quite a good configuration, um, and yeah, it's that they sort of the slim down um, configuration means that they've lost wood where you don't need it. So it all, you know, yeah, it's a very manageable gun. Just make it? it look quite stylish as well. Yeah, particularly stylish, but also it means you're not carrying. It's not going to be too weighty if you're out for a day's hunting or or competition. Even. Yeah. yeah. Now this action, with it being the side lever, is absolutely super smooth. I'll just turn that so we can uh, just see the. The lever that is gorgeous now we've got this fitted with a single shot loading tray and i really like this it's it's a self-opening one with the um did you say that's a rowan engineering i'm not sure oh, right. i'm not yeah. sure to be honest but i know somebody else on the range was shooting an ultimate sport of the day and they had exactly the same Mm. Um, It'd be similar. It's similar quality, isn't it? I mean, that's whoever's made is. that is excellent. And yeah, Ro I've seen it Rowan's is. stuff. It's uh, very precise. So. Yeah, the the indexing pin just pops that open every time, so it's ready there. Pop your pallet in, close mm. it up. And again, if you were to, if you wanted to take this out um, and and do HFT, you know, a hunter field target, then they that's where you you've got to be careful. The rules say you can't have a magazine in between target stations, so. This sort of configuration where you've got the single shot tray would be ideal, and a lot of shooters do that. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah. very neatly done. It is, but it does take the magazine and it does come with the two magazines as, as standard. So mm. that's an aftermarket yeah. thing, isn't it? So obviously, it it's, is. so it'll come with the magazines and then you get, your, so can, you get your single shot tray as an aftermarket. Yes. Yeah. It is Rowan. You're, oh, is it? You're yeah. Dead right. Yeah. It nice. does, does actually have it written on there. Yeah, maybe three D printed. Does does the job? Mm. Bang on. Yeah. So, safety. We, we we've touched on the air arm safety a little bit in the past, haven't we? Mm. Not biggest fans. Not biggest users of safety catches. To be honest, I don't think are we. No, e that's either right. of us. It's uh, as I always say, an empty gun is a safe gun. Um, mm. But yeah, if you really want one, then you, you, it, it comes with a safety. It's a manual safety as well, so you can you can ignore that. Um, you know, if you don't want to use it, um, as I say, it's not not so great being in the trigger blade, but it it does the job and it's there. So that's as much as I can say on it, really. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> now, experience levels. So who, who who would who would be buying this this rifle? Would it be for the absolute beginner? Would it be for the the person moving on? Mm, okay, I, I would say it, that depends on your budget. You know, there's a lot of things. Absolutely, yeah. It, it, yeah. You know, anyone who comes to me and says, what, what are you going to buy the particular air gun for? You'd say, well, what, what do you want to do with it? And how much do you want to spend? Are the two key questions, aren't they? Uh, uh, um, absolutely, yeah. 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 But if, 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 on the head, yeah. If, if you're not, you know, if you've got the budget, then this is worth paying that little bit extra for. Um, just for the, again, as we said, for the sheer, for the sheer quality and the engineering on it. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah. For the current price, have a look at the uh, the link for the website and uh, take you straight through to it. So, without further ado, let's put this single shot loading tray to and the and the scope, put them to the test. Let's have a shoot down the range. Not much pressure on now. Let's see how I can uh, how my shooting performs with this. Uh, Stunning air arms rifle. Yeah, the pressure's on, Peter. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that uh, single shot tray. That is. Uh, it complements the gun, actually. It does. It? Yeah. Yeah. It's a class piece of equipment. That. So easy. So simple. Okay. Don't laugh.
try and ball here just slow. Yeah. I check my pallets. Mm. <laughs> Give myself the best chance of I can. Oh, nice one. Same hole. I was going to say, somebody's put this scope on crooked, but it was me this morning, so... That is a good thing, actually, about the single loader. It gives you a chance to check your pellet, doesn't it? Uh, yes, it certainly yeah. does, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, it's straight through. So that's three in the same that's hole? Three in a, literally an enlarged hole. Yeah. So there's not much pressure on there, is there really? <laughs> no. So... Can we see if we can get a four through the same hole? Not with that pallet, I'm not. So I always find with Air Arms pallets, I find they're very, very soft. They're very accurate, mm. and they tend to give guns quite a lot of power. Yeah, but they they're very soft and susceptible. It to is damage. that softness with the JSB though that makes them it's, so yeah. compatible, isn't it? But... Right. It's still joined. It's still joined. Yeah. It's just outside. Given the pressure of the last shot. That's shall, I, shall, I go for, shall I go for another <laughs> one to uh, blow it completely? I must say, I mean, the handling of this rifle, it is, uh, my hand fits this mm. this, this thumb hole absolutely yeah, perfectly. it is nice. If you relax your hand, it's about the position where it would be, isn't it? It is, Although yeah. I like the thumb up, that is still a, it's a really classy yeah. grip. I think this is, the thumb hole version is a little bit more expensive. But I think every time you pick this up out of the case, you'd be, mm. yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm pleased that I went for that one. So let's try and try and get another good shot. Yeah, that's gone straight through, isn't it? I'm going to give up at that. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah I mean, it's, you know, this is, this is 25 yards, which that should easily deal with. However... It's, You've seen um, my shooting before, that's though, a, haven't that's you? That's a pretty good group, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> can't argue with that. <laughs> no, definitely. Yeah. It's 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 the gun, Ab absolutely is. So, summarise. What 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 do we think to the S five ten carbine? Well, it's it's uh, it just screams quality. It's uh, if you want to, it's primarily built for hunting, and uh, yeah, in that in that guise with the factory thumb hole. It looks the part, but it, uh, as you've proved, it, it just it the handling is um, sublime, and uh, yeah, everything. There's little to criticise on it. Um, if we I mean, if you had to criticise, you'd have to say well, it's it's not a regulated action, and you could you could have that done at a later date. But um, straight if out. you wanted to, but mm. yeah, oh, exactly, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, straight out of the box. Is it going to shoot any better for me with the no? With the this is it. it. Yeah, it's um, it's it's pretty pretty impressive as it is isn't it it certainly is yeah yeah definitely there was mm. one more thing i was going to say and my mind's gone for, my mind's gone blank but i think i think this stock really does set the rifle off anyway it, it just puts it into a different class mm. it, it really does yeah i mean it's, it's personal taste with this sort of thing um up to a point i would say as well but because of all the stock options you know you can get Basically, an S five ten that's going to feel right for you. That's yeah. the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, now, um, now that we, we started this at the beginning, didn't we? This isn't a new rifle by any means, is it? You know, it's been around for a long, long time. Mm. But it it just shows that it it stands the test of time against a lot of these, not imposters, but sort of new new guns that come into the market from different parts of the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's often a criticism that's levelled at air arms is that they're a bit staid, set in their ways, and that they don't bring out enough new models. But um, when they do, they get it right. And uh, yeah, this is you know, it, it, this is just quality that will do. It's got all the right features, and it will it will really enhance your shooting. Uh, yeah, and I say obviously they won an award for this one. Um, you can see yeah. why. Can't yeah. Court. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. It does exactly what it says on the tin, as you as you mentioned earlier. Mm. So yeah. Well, thank you for thank you for your viewing. Hope you enjoyed it and uh see you on our next video. Cheers, see you thank then. Thank you.